Okay, you could come on through, man. Outside Columbia Heights Village Apartments in Northwest Washington. Hi, Miss Ann. How, How you doing today? Residents like Aisha Wilson ponder their options on food distribution day. Oh, give me some bread. Yes, ma'am. This is every week we get these goodies. For 90-year-old Virginia Marrero, what she takes home will sustain her for days. Can I have this too? To understand how all this fresh food got here, we sat down with the person primarily responsible, Kate Urbank with Food Rescue US. We've rescued 7 million meals and that accounts to about 8.5 million pounds of food. This nonprofit's innovative approach to tackling hunger involves volunteers rescuing and distributing perfectly good food to those in need before it's thrown away by grocery stores, restaurants, and corporate cafeterias. There are statistics that say between 30 and 40 percent of food is wasted. And when we have a food insecurity problem in the United States, that's absurd. According to ReFed, the United States wasted 35 percent of food produced in 2019. That's 160 billion pounds of unsold and uneaten food cast aside, costing farmers, grocers and consumers more than $200 billion. Right now I'm separating through our meats. Food Rescue U.S. partners with supermarkets like Wegmans, where Angelica Buckman works. We give with love and we hope it's accepted with love. Moments after she packs up food otherwise destined for a landfill. Because there's a lot here. Volunteer Glenn Romero swoops in, loads up and heads off to Columbia Heights Village. Only 20 minutes later, we hear from a grateful Miss Moreno. And I didn't have nothing in my fridge. So I'm blessed. This entire process from pickup to delivery is coordinated through a proprietary app, ensuring short drive times so nothing spoils. And some of Urbank's top food providers are Washington institutions. All right, let me put this inside. Like the Sodexo cafeteria at the National Geographic Society. I don't like food waste because we know in Washington, D.C., what the world is going through. Along with Aramark at Capital One Arena. Food Rescue U.S. is doing, is really solving for that last mile. The car is completely filled with boxes. Volunteer Janet Fershine then takes the short trip to Central Union Mission, where she's greeted by Chef Rick Snyder. How's it looking? It looks beautiful. This is good stuff. It's very hard being on the street. It's dehumanizing being a homeless person. So. Anything we can do here to give a person a sense of love and dignity and respect, we're going to do it. And oftentimes that begins with a meal. I'm glad we have people, things in places that people care that want to help someone. For resident Willie Wiggins, the path of compassion traveled by so many from farm to fork boils down to one ingredient. Well, it's good to know that we have a mission that wants to show you that people do love you, that you can come and get a nice good food, breakfast, lunch, and dinner from love. I'm Jay Korf for 7 News.